Welcome back to the Terry Michael Show here on KODJ. It's currently 23 degrees Fahrenheit here in Salt Lake City. Perfect for skiing or snowboarding here if you're planning on making the trip up to Park City or the Heber Valley. We're going to be continuing to broadcast the greatest hits in Salt Lake City and... We're breaking into normal coverage here to report on what appear to be riots occurring in Heber City. While the cause is still unknown, we will bring you further information as we... Look, the situation is being contained to the town outright. We simply urge calm for the duration of... I don't know what happened. This guy, my neighbor, he comes like some sort of rabid dog or something. I mean, I saw a lot of things over in Estonia, but this takes the cake. All Hebrew City residents are ordered to shelter in place. Though unconfirmed, it appears that the Utah National Guard is being sent to Heber City and Park City, and US-40 and 189 are being closed. I know this isn't a news channel, but I'm getting reports of thousands of people trying to leave the Heber Valley in any way they can. Though the CDC could not be reached for comment on the matter as to the effects of the disease. As of 10 p.m., February 26th, 2023, the states of Wyoming and Colorado have closed their borders to Utah until further notice. This is a precautionary measure as... This makes Durham look like nothing! Everybody's gone mad! I'm being informed that we're going off the air now to switch to the EAS permanently. God bless you all. Evanston, Wyoming is filled to the brim with military personnel manning checkpoints along the Wyoming-Utah border, and the outskirts of Salt Lake City are practically a fortress. This is not a national emergency. The situation will be resolved in less than a couple of days. No further questions. I look at this and I go, is this the beginning of the end? <laughs>